they, t they blacked out the base, turned off all the lights. So basically they're like, okay, go into lockdown, we're under attack. And they launched these fighters. According to this airman who called in, he said that this pilot that came back was scared shitless. Basically he's like, it was ashen. He's never seen this guy man scared. He's like, this guy's mm -hmm. a legit dude, fighter pilot. Like I've never seen this dude scared. You mentioned the, the Phoenix Lights incident, and I wanted to go back to that for a second. So you were in Phoenix during that whole encounter, that whole, or just... No, um, I, Phoenix Lights was in 96, I believe. Okay, so you were in 2004, you said? I, I was there in 03, Okay, 04, so you, yeah. you, you have multiple so, videos of the Phoenix Lights uh, incident just going through it on your channel, which people should definitely go check out on Leto Files. It, to me, it's one of the most fascinating encounters because unlike the vast majority of UAP reports, this one has 750 witnesses, some like possibly even more than that. I forget the exact number. More actually, but yeah. Can you, for, for people who yeah. may not have, uh, may not be familiar with the Phoenix Lights, can you describe that incident with you know what was going on that we understand the whole military blackout jet launches like what do you what is your understanding of what occurred during the the phoenix lights incident 26 years ago now yeah wild um yeah so i've done just a, a few shorter videos i haven't gone uh, i interviewed tom king mm. He has a he has a YouTube channel called uh, t I think it's Tom King uh, Skywatch 4K, and he he lives in Phoenix um, and he sets out all these uh, camera systems to, to search for UAPs. He was one of the initial investigators on the Phoenix oh, lights, wow. so he knows everything about that. It was awesome talking to him him about it. Quite interesting, um, but basically w what I understand is that you had these w lights essentially flying in formation, you know, kind of in a giant. Let's see, a giant V like this, you know, up to a mile across this V. Um, and so you have lights that are flying in this V formation. And then it almost looks like it or supposedly many, many witnesses said that there was an outline. So it would, it would uh, the stars would go away as this thing flew over silently, mm. right? This big giant V. <laughs> so it's like so a it flying seems like v. there's some sort of structure uh, kind of around the lights. Away. It's not just individual lights floating. And I've heard other things too, where it seems like the lights could actually move. Maybe I, I can't remember if that was Phoenix lights, but they would, or if it was always in a set structure. Um, but either way, yeah, the Phoenix lights, just for my, um, how I would imagine it is a giant mile across, you know, V shaped boomerang, just floating over the city, flying right. It flew like right down central Avenue, um, according to Tom. And so he said, He's like, yeah, you got to check this out because there was a an airman, right? He doesn't identify himself, but he is an airman from the base, the uh, Luke Air Force Base in Phoenix there. And he calls into one of the radio stations and I, I actually played on, on one of my uh, videos and he explains that the pilots launched. So he said these four pilots, um, four or two pilots launched to intercept the thing. Um, and that when the guys came back and he said, they also bl blacked out the whole base. So the base went black, right? If you're under attack, you're going to turn off all the lights on your base so nobody can see where the buildings are, obviously, et cetera. And so they, t they blacked out the base, turned off all the lights. So basically they're like, okay, go into lockdown. We're under attack. Um, and then supposedly, and they launched these fighters. According to this airman who called in, he said that this pilot that came back was scared shitless. Basically, he's like, he was ashen. He's never seen this guy, man scared, you know? He's like, this guy's mm -hmm. a legit dude, fighter pilot. Like, I've never seen this dude scared. And according to him, yeah, it was that thing where there was some structure to these lights. And he didn't know what to make of it, you know? So that, that's basically from what I understand of the Phoenix lights. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard... I've heard people say that possibly flares could be responsible for that, but it's hard to imagine a fighter pilot being scared shitless by just someone pulling a prank or something or releasing flares into the sky. And also with 750 witnesses, yeah. you know, it's, it's. No, they, well, there was flares. So, you know, they're in, again, I flew in Phoenix, um, the A-10s, there's the A-10s, they're an air to ground fighter. And so what they'll do is they put out these long burn flares. They're like on parachutes and they kind of just, they just float down and they light up the whole area. I mean, you can see, you can see with your, you don't need night vision glasses yeah. or goggles or anything. 
And so that night they did do that. Actually, they did have their flares in a pattern. Um, but those flares have to be in a certain area, you know, in the operating area, in the military training areas, right? Um, but the guy didn't inter- – he intercepted the, the, the lights down in, down in uh, central Phoenix. Okay. You know, he didn't intercept them over the military operating areas. So as far as, you know, that story on him intercepting these lights, it, it wouldn't have been flares. Um, but there are videos of the flares um, and being confused for the lights. Uh, so some people, you've, there are videos of flares, and and that's what Tom pointed out is that this video of flares is actually of flares. It's not of the lights. Um, so people look at that often, and they're like, they'll go to that video and they'll say, "Hey, it's it's all flares," and be like, "Well, no, you know, those are flares." Yeah. <laughs> but like, look over here, and you see like alien ships flying by. You know? Are there any other accounts in modern history that even come close to a hundred or seven hundred fifty plus witnesses for a UAP encounter? Is it- is there anything else like that that you've come across? I don't know about like the documented numbers, um, but the one I'm interested in, that why I'm going to Turkey, or one of the reasons is for the Kumburgas uh, UFO flaps, I guess. In 2007, 2008, and 2009, there was, I guess, all these saucers just flying around everywhere over, over Istanbul. And Dr. Lear... Uh, he's he's passed now, but Dr. Lear, he was a big uh, uf- ufologist, big on implants as well. He happened to be there, I think, in 2008, and it was a UFO conference. And as they're getting out of the conference, the UFOs are there. And so they started filming. And I guess Lear said he was there to see them filming these craft. And, and I have that on my video. That Those videos are unbelievable and why I'm going to Turkey to try and see if, that, if that's legitimate. Yeah. But basically... According to that, that was thousands. So it was in the newspapers. Uh, it went on for you know three separate summers. It went on for you know I don't know how many days or nights over the summer, but it was a long period of time. And supposedly many, many thousands. There's 18 million people in Istanbul. Wow. Many thousands of people saw it. So my hope is to go there with a sign um, and just hold it out. Anyone seen UFOs? You know, in Turkish, and then and then interview some people. But that that's a big one I've I've heard of the Belgium. Belgium wave is a big one. Have no, no, I haven't. One? What happened there? That's another really good one. That was in, um, uh, I don't want to get the date wrong, but I think it was 98. Anyway, that, yeah, F-16s intercept, they went after those as well. So the Belgian wave is 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 amazing. I think 40 different police officers wow. saw it. So, or saw these uh, diamond craft. It was diamond shaped craft. There's two of them that I, that I, I know they saw or reported. And the 40 police, you got the fighters launching, and I think you have a certain number of civilians. I, there, there are many mass sighted, you know, it's not just Phoenix Lights. I think Phoenix Lights has the most numbers uh, that I can just think up off the top of my head, but you got Belgian wave there and Turkey UFO are interesting. So as well. when you go to Ensemble, uh, it'll be like man on the street style almost you'll hold up the sign and you'll have the microphone and if someone comes up to you you speak turkish and you can just say like hey what you know what did you see tell me you know what happened and kind of break it down in a video like that that's my plan yeah i mean i hope to get a hold of someone prior but i I, you know i've been trying the last year to get a hold of um you know who made any videos before who investigated and just haven't had any luck. So I watched James Fox's moment of contact. He went down to Virginia mm. that just released, I think, last uh, fall. He went to Virginia for the Virginia incident, and that's what he did. Actually, it was it seemed to work really well. He just held up a sign, you know, anyone seen this? Yeah. And he had, yeah, they, he said they had tons of people coming up to him. Yeah. So 